Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I am your Fright Night host for today, Mad Dog, and I'm bringing you some more Dead by Daylight. Don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, take a bite of that like button, and please share the content. Help us expand the Slackers universe. Alrighty guys, hello. Uh, for me, this is the third attempt to record uh, Dead by Daylight. Uh, first two matches, uh, dealt with a hacker because one, I jumped through a brick window and instantly the, ha the, uh, hillbilly was behind me charging up his chainsaw. That is not right. And there's impossible to go through a brick wall like that. Two. What the? What is this? I have never seen that before. Is there a new killer? Is there a thing that prevents the use of that? I'll take care of another hook. back over to where I had no hooks at. <laughs> huh. I'm about to go to the killers and see what they just... What are you doing? Go away. Didn't like me, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I lost a train of thought and I don't know how to fight this killer. Where'd that person go? Correct. Sabotage you another hook. Go. 
There. 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 I wanted you to heal me, lady, but you kind of screwed that up. on that stupid circle. <laughs> Run and puke. Good combo. Grody. <laughs> oh, I'm fully healed after curing my illness too. That's cool. Oh my goodness. I'd like to leave this basement, please.
interesting. We're gonna have to check out this killer after this match real quick. I'm not gonna have enough. It's like right there. <laughs> we both got away. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, didn't quite get enough blood points. Should we spike? Oh no. Here they go. GG. No idea when they got the new killer. Hold down the power button to charge the vial puke. I did a survivor accumulates their amount affected by being hit by the strand running before any action. Environmental objects also become affected by a short duration and hit. Infected completely, the survivor is forced to vomit, he continues to do so at random uh, intervals that become. Okay, infected survivors can remove all and pull up devotion. Oh. We'll, we'll check this out in a second here. Let's just go to the actual killer and check her out. They added that killer out of nowhere because I had no idea they were even working on another killer. And she's a lot cooler. Uh, when she was five years old, the youngest of the family of seven was left in the brick red. Brick red burning steps of temple. Okay, to, to process her shock and sorrow, she held on to the belief that God had a plan for her, a new life. Okay. She would attend the garden, da, da, da. she came of age, attended a high ranking priest yearly worship of the worshipping of the sea goat, the goat of water and creation. Uh, seeing a down the great Where's lifted resulting in bliss. Bone every day fulfilling her duties, taking a new one. She aided the priest during the purification rituals. Uh, priests were more than need of assistant cl cleaning. Cleansings were being performed daily to answer the men outside the temple. Ten months, the priest contracted the disease. It did not take long before they became too weak to perform any kind of rituals. And her having assisted in them was the only one to carry on. Swelling panic had to continue even if it was noticed before her first before her first ceremony visited the priest's ancient turn. When she lit the candle, she noticed a narrow opening at the back sliding through the gap. 
She reached a crypt hidden under the sanctum. The chamber was bare except for the coldest statue of a woman who stood stretched out hands, her fingers covered in jewels. As the scientists had been waiting for her. Her hill was packed with flowers who bowed down as she stole, strolled the brick altar, grabbed a ceremonial da dagger, forged in steel, her ruby fingers wrapped around the blade like claws, and the suddenly display of the followers who struck already by her beauty. Uh, she began recruiting the epic of creation, a woman at the back, swollen and collapsed. Uh, rushed to her and noticed that the back's covered in feet. She grabbed her sacred blade, swung it at her feet, and severed a toe. Then she offered the bloody heart to the gods, asking them to protect the woman. Sons fell over the followers who revealed us and their new as their new priestess. Hell's wealth. Her faith was tried and she showed the first signs of infection. Her cough became a mix of the Shamed of her condition, she begged wearing a veil, headpiece, and carried sensor that masked the erotic smell. <laughs> oh, okay. Of her skin. Hoping to be saved, she kept performing the rituals, offering blessing and feeling wallers. But her faith was tried. Oh, okay. But no ritual could save. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't scroll down when I'm scrolling down. Okay, there we go. But no ritual could save her in an attempt to appease the gods. She banished herself from the city. She traveled north with a few followers, venturing through the cold until there was no longer. No longer possible to walk. They camped in a damp cave where Lena pulled vomit her feet, which had turned black, so swollen she could go not go any further. Her followers then realized the truth in that cave, and they were all infected with the plague. Lena monked her wretched followers and missed one last prayer. The black fumes of the intense rose into the damp air, being moved off. Near the body of her, her followers were found. Many told tales of her, of her return, but no one truly had knew what fate had befallen the high priestess of Bab Babylon. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, her power. Okay, we were at the second sentence. If survivors affected indicated is completely filled, survivors forced to vomit to to do so at random intervals. They become injured. They are not already gain the broken status effect and they pass on their infection to other survivors as well as environmental objects that they infect with. Infected survivors can remove all infection by interacting with pools of devotion. This blocks it from further use by other survivors. Or use by other survivors. Uh, if the survivor is injured they become healthy. If all pools of devotion are corrupted at the same time, all pools of devotion revert to their clean state. Plague may consume the corruption of a of a pool of devotion that has previously been used by a survivor. This rem remove the corruption from the pool transfers vile plague into corrupt plague. Corrupt plague instantly damages any survivors hit by the stream but does not apply infection. The effect lasts for a short duration. Okay. Corruption, uh, your prayers invoke a dark power that melts with the survivor's chance of survival. Three dreamers located furthest from you are blocked by the entity for 80 seconds at the start of the trial. Survivors cannot repair those generators for that duration. Oh, that, that really sucks. Uh, infectious fright. Cries of the unfaithful makes you leap. Your heart leap. Uh, any survivors that are within the killer's terror radius while another survivor is put into the dying state with your basic attack will yell and reveal their location to the killer for four seconds. <laughs> uh, dark devotion. The display. Sorry. Uh, the display of powers creates a whirlwind of panic that spreads throughout the land. Uh, you become obsessed with one survivor. 
Hitting the survivor with your basic attack causes the obsession to emit a 32 meters terror radius for 20 seconds. During that time, your terror radius is reduced to zero. The effect can only be triggered every 60 seconds. The obsession hears the terror radius they emit for the duration. Killer can only be obsessed with one survivor at a time. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Oh man, I almost had enough uh, the yellow currency to buy it too. Buy her too. That's cool. We'll have to uh, buy her in a little bit. Uh, let's do one more survivor. Alright. Used up my good my good stuff. Oh wait, let's spend some blood points real quick and see if we can't get some more items. Where were we going? We we're going this way, right? Yeah. Darn, that's the thing I wanted. You suck. Um I should probably get this map. Definitely going to get that, so let's just go ahead and get this. Get that. Oh, and we're out of stuff again. Okay. Let us. As soon as we switch her over, then we can finally uh, prestige her, so. Rainbow map. Wait a second, so you start with three objects automatically tracked. Ability to track objects within eight meters. Track black locks within eight meters. Track killer's belongings within eight meters, and track exit gates within eight meters. <laughs> Every survivor sees the aura generated by the map when the user activates it. That's helpful. And then. Increases the tracking range. Let's see. I guess increases the range of the map's tracking ability. Yeah, just do that. Alright. And again, let's start as far away from the killer as possible. Let's look for a match. And hopefully we can prestige her. So it was level 50, I was told. By Elif 84. <laughs> Yeah, earlier, uh, yeah, Hacker Hillbilly instantly chainsawed me, and then he found someone near me uh, after they got me off the hook later on in the match. Uh, they downed someone near me. Uh, like, the someone finished a generator somewhere because I was about to run over to a generator and fix it, and all of a sudden they finished it. I was like, oh, good, and there's an exit gate to my left. I was about to go left and all of a sudden I just hear the ending noise of a chainsaw knocking down one of my fellow survivors. I turn the corner and the killer's right there. I heard zero heartbeat. So he was either hacking or because his internet connection was so bad that match it was just acting so funky. But I didn't even hear the survivor near me so it was weird. And then the second match there was a someone disconnected immediately as we started and there's another guy that was kind of being a little bit of a troll and um, uh, jumping through stuff when he was near us to give away our position to the killer so that that, that really sucked so I didn't want to do that one and then the next match uh, 
camping nurse uh, instantly found me and then was camping me so long by the time she finally left me and someone was able to come over and get me I was already in the second state and she basically targeted me and killed me so I was in that match for like less than three minutes I, I, I raged uh, quit the episode after that so that's why I was like this is the third attempt so So that knowledge is useful. I ah, almost missed that. To Michael. Oh God, he's watching me. found somebody. When did he get over there? Jeez, that Michael is like ridiculously fast. I guess I could better go to a different generator because... Ooh. He's still over here looking for me. Is that him or someone else? He's that way now. <gasps> Scared me. <laughs> See you, Michael.
Oh, he's so pissed at me. He was hunting for me. He saw y'all. Please don't get me. Uh... Alright, I'm getting away from... In the high ground all the way over here. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. Two more generators that way. <laughs> I just need to go across the map to them, that's all. There's a complete generator up there, so yeah, there he goes. Looking at that one. spot
I think he's gone. He was camping her. Generator down here, up there, and over there. These generators are way too close together. Chase me, did he? He is guarding these like a hawk. Man, I wish I had my sabotage now. Busy, I'll repair it. one then. I just forgot there was one here too. got a gate open. My sacrifice was not in vain. Please one of y'all be working on an exit. No! Don't you dare pick me off! You're basically signing my death warrant if you do that. Okay. You get me. You get me, yes. No! 
Why me? Why me? <laughs> Disappear blood. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness, it's such a good episode. <laughs> Almost certain he's gonna get me. There he is. He left me alone? Another exit gate. There it is. I went straight forward over there. Okay. Now that I know where it's at. <laughs> Screw it. Let's just go. <laughs> We're out. See you, Michael. Peace. <laughs> Two of them, nice. <laughs> oh, that guy, man, you're <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I, I love a good Michael player. But, alrighty, guys. Uh, <laughs> woo, that went way too long, but <laughs> of an episode. Yeah, 45 minutes. Especially since we had the first failed attempt at an episode earlier, but... Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you all for joining me, and... Oh, wait. Hold the phone. I know it's going to be a little longer, but... Uh, let's get this. And we'll get this.
Okay. Even though the blood web will regenerate indefinitely each time it is completely consumed, your level will not go higher than 50. You can increase your prestige by consuming the blood web. You can increase your prestige by consuming the blood web center node. All right. Let's do it. Increase your Resets the progress of your character to level 1, unlocks a prestige reward of this character, loses all items, perks, offerings, blah, blah, slightly increases the odds of getting better items on the blood web, teachable perks will stay available to all other characters. Yes, we will. Nice. First character I've prestiged. <laughs> oh, get a reward for prestige. Let's check out that outfit real quick. This nice new blouse. Ah, oh, that's where the bloody outfits have been coming from. Nice. Okay, from people who prestige their characters. I get bloody shorts with it too. No, the red shorts do match with it. So, yeah, no new hairdo. Oh, that's such a bummer. Alrighty, out of blood points. Well, again,